or that he's gone, I look over and just make sure that I am still recording. This is this is the case. That's always a panic moment for me. Uh, so I guess, uh, seeing as I haven't been responding to a dang person uh, throughout the entire night, I should probably uh, thank people accordingly. So thank you, Buzz5, for the raid. Thank you, Chambez, for this 17-month resub. Thank you, Verisoc, for the thousand bits. Thank you, Silent Warlock Cosplay, for the 23-month resub. Thank you, Noble Oz, for the 13-month resub. Konkonk, 678, for the 15-month resub. 64 Syntax Error, for the sub. Uh, VT Monarch, for the two-month resub. Uh, oh, some of these are from yesterday. Or two days ago? I don't know. Thank you all so much, though. Sounds so cold here. They've really got the ambiance down. My music does not uh, does not match this in the slightest, but that's okay. Uh, but thank you guys for the support, and I'm sorry I don't respond during uh, during gameplay. It's just hard for me to do so without being rude to uh, the person I'm playing with. And for those of you that have been asking, no, I'm not playing with Dangerously Funny. This is he is my younger brother. A lot of people straight up have been like, are you playing with Dangerously Funny? And it's like, nope. Oh, that'd be cool. He seems like a nice guy, but I am i am not related to him in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so I'm going to have to find some resin. Interestingly enough, despite the fact that it's supposed to be really windy here, there's like no wind. I might have to destroy that. Well, that's kind of the expectation anyway. Why do people think you know DF? I mean, I kind of do. Uh, at least I've talked with him before, but he is uh, he's part of a YouTuber Discord, same as me and same as a bunch of other people. Uh, but there is a... I'm not going to say a massive difference uh, between our content styles, and I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure if that guy does multiplayer. No, I certainly don't think I've seen him do any. But no, every, everybody just always assumes that uh, every YouTuber knows each other, and, uh, you know, are waiting expectantly for the inevitable collaboration between the two. Uh, which I can kind of understand. The idea of it is cool. So, it looks like we have zero power, huh? That's weird. Let's see, do you have time for ring fits? I, uh, ring fit tonight. I have the 100k hench bits. I think actually, uh, somebody already redeemed it. Uh, that said, I, I will try and fit it in. Unfortunately, I need to play, um, I need to play Neon Abyss immediately after this, uh, and then after that I should probably play a game called Fabular. I might hold off on that though, just because it's a little late. and do Fabular tomorrow, because the developers wanted to sponsor a video. I just wanted to make sure I was in a good place to do so, and I had a good time, uh, or a decent amount of time to do so. So maybe, uh, uh, that said, if you want to redeem Ring Fit on Sunday, uh, that's probably your next best, uh, next best day to do it. Because to my knowledge, that's the next day that I'm going to be avail uh, available for Ring Fit. Before that is going to be uh, exhausting, I guess. Uh, let's see, so what do we need for this? Aluminum and compound. Yeah, we didn't bring those along, I should have. Because, yeah, I'd, I'd love to do Ring Fit, get back up to the point where I can do it every day, but it, Ring Fit is physically exhausting. Oh, are they just not animating? Unless I'm really close to them, that might be the case. 
Is it Sunday for you? Uh, tomorrow or the day after? It's currently Saturday for you. Oh, it's Friday on my end. Uh, so two streams from now. Uh, I at best I can do Ring Fit every other stream. Uh, at worst every like three streams. Uh, cause the problem is like it's physically taxing. And I mean, you try run a mile a day when you're out of shape. It's not easy. Okay, we have a lot of this stuff. I mean, I'm I'm assuming quite a lot of people here probably do actually have the uh, the oomph for that kind of thing. I I do not. I am crappy. Okay, so we need to find a little bit of resin and a little bit of compounds. I'm a little worried that we're just gonna find nothing but iron. Okay. Let's stay away from that so it doesn't just absolutely murder me. Okay, what do you got in ya? Some ammonium. Well, there's the laterite. There's a little bit of clay. A bunch of titanium. Damn it. I can't get out of here, can I? All right. Okay, we got to start going back. I have an oxygen container, but it's not nearly enough to keep me alive. It's not aluminum. Well, we have aluminum, sort of. Problem is, I need to be able to process it down. I don't quite have that. Okay. Well, let's just go back. Yeah, note to self, next time, bring enough for the soil processor. Uh, because I actually can't do anything until we get the soil processor. Uh, let's see. What do I need for the smelting furnace? Two resin in the compounds. Yep. That's a problem. Because there's no point in mining anything until we actually have some of that stuff. Oh, well, there's compounds. Okay, there's compound of plenty, and we get a free medium wind generator. That's good stuff. But what are the red spiky outcroppings? That's iron, which is really helpful, actually. Okay, craters of caves for what I'm looking for. Gotcha. Let's see. Put this away for a second. We do have the better generator. Okay. So what I'm thinking is... Oh, I left my soil thing behind. We need at least one of them. Yeah, I want to I wanna smooth this whole thing out so we can have, like, a big base. And I'm pretty sure the mountain blocks the wind. Oh, I should take a battery for myself. That'll probably speed this along. There we go. Just kind of burn through all of this. Because what I want to do is go down a little bit. Uh, but I, I want to leave myself enough room for a, a sizable base. And so if I can just chew through this mountain... 
fast, that'd be lovely. I guess the other thing I could have done was put a bunch of... Ooh, okay, maybe this mountain's a bit bigger than I was giving it credit for. go here. Let's see. I don't think I have too much else. Alright. There we go. Takes a lot of effort to level a whole dang mountain. I guess we're just going to have a bunch of these floating bits in the sky, which is obnoxious. Why is it up there? Nah. I really want to get rid of this. Hmm. Might not be able to get rid of some of the floating bits in the sky. Oh, that's okay. Does that look like enough space? We're getting there. Uh, cursor? Thank you. Unfortunately, this does not do uh, monitor exclusive cursoring full screen. It's a problem because I've got four monitors up, down, left, further left, and right. And so it's actually really easy for my cursor to just get off screen. pretty good. Let's extend the flatness a little bit further this direction. And then I'm probably just going to build a artificial cave just going south. I'm assuming it, it should connect everything. Or I'm assuming we'll find a, a decent spot pretty quick. And I've got a lot of compounds so we should have no problems. Uh, building a bunch of tethers to go underground. Okay. That looks pretty good from a hellaciously flat environment perspective. Put this away. Grab two of these. Make some tether bundles and we'll go down. Wasn't this planet supposed to have low solar? It seems just as bright as anywhere else, and the day doesn't seem too short. Maybe it's one of those that it's just the conversion ratio isn't very good. That, like, even though it has a lot of sun, you're farther away, so you're not getting quite as much. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But like, I guess it kind of does. It would a solar panel on Pluto get you less power and how much less? I actually don't know that one. Let's see, atmosphere could be blocking it. Interesting thing is, from what I remember, the atmosphere here is supposed to be fairly thin. Yeah, fairly sure Pluto's a lot darker. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. When are you going to do the Pokemon DLC? Probably not. I didn't really like Sword and Shield that much. Like, it was kind of a fun experience, but I didn't care too much for it. And so it was it was fun at the time. Maybe if I have nothing else to play, but... Eh? I'd be more interested in playing Monster Sanctuary. But I don't think that's close to done yet. It's getting there. But I think it still needs a couple of pot... Uh... It needs a couple of updates before it'll get there. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of science. The other thing, uh, is like, I'm not sure if the audience is particularly motivated for that game. Maybe there are. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong and there's like a huge, uh, huge population of people that are really, really into the idea of it. Oh, is that a bu bunch of titanium there? No, that's a bunch of, that's a bunch of organics. I think I'm probably going to be better off checking... Ow. I think I'm going to be better off checking the raiders up above. That's what I'm looking for. And when does Wanderer have nothing else to play? That doesn't happen. Pretty much, that's exactly it. The other thing from a... Uh, it's not... I don't want to exactly sound like I'm throwing shade. Um, but... This is literally... Yeah, you've been following me for a couple of months, probably, since the last time I played Pokemon, maybe? Uh, but it's the first time you've ever even posted to my chat. Um, and the problem is just, like, I want to... generally create content that people will stick around for. And it's always hard to entertain requests... Uh, just in general, but especially, like, for people that are not super regulars. Let's see. And yes, I, I know those rocks are renewable research and pretty dang good. Uh, let's just go around this way. I just have to find a little bit and we'll be good good to go from there. Okay. Another one of those things blown up. Yeah, we're just going on an adventure at this point. I think that's the only way I'm going to be able to find what I'm looking for. Wish my brother had actually gone for bringing the tractor along. He's like, well, I'll just get a buggy. You are correct, bro. You are correct. But I have to go through all this extra work just to find one single piece of corn. We brought every resource under the sun, but the most absolute basics. Turns out, we needed the most absolute basics. Alright, that should get me a little closer. Let's see if I can spot a crater nearby? Freaking nope. I think I went the wrong direction. You get what I'm looking for. But yeah, I to finish what I was saying, I want to create content and stream content that makes people stick around. Uh, and it's rough seeing somebody asking if I'm going to play a game. Uh, and they've not said anything prior in chat at all. Because that what that communicates to me in general is that... Uh, you only are interested in, like, one specific thing. And it's not that I don't want to, like, also entertain somebody with those kinds of preferences, but it's one of those where it's, like, as a variety act, I have to keep that in mind first and foremost. And that's a lot harder than just, uh, playing everything. Wander played hard space. Come on! That's the other thing. Please. Please always check. Always check my YouTube channel first. Because I got so much hard space for you, man. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think that command is particularly good. Has Wander played soft space? No. Has this got any corn in it? Yes, it does. Okay. 
Let's go just top up. I'm not going to be able to get all my tether as tethers out here. Am I? Okay, I still do have some. What is soft space? It's hard space shipbreaker, but it's porn. Suffice to say, not something I would stream on Twitch. Now, I would play Soft Serve Space, which is the Ice Cream Tycoon on a space station game. That that would probably be pretty rad. Don't want to salt Android Cactus. Yeah, unfortunately I missed the bus on that one. That'll probably be on like a very eventual indie game lightning round where I just play like a bunch of old shit that I missed. I meant to, but there's just there, I have I have limited time. Oh, is that it? Alright, let's fill up. About as full as I'm gonna get. Wonder if you've seen the trailers for Kingdoms of Rambler Re-Reckoning. Yep. I doubt I'm gonna do a full series on it. It really depends on uh, what I'm doing at the time and what's out. Because if people really want me to do a second playthrough of Kingdoms of Amler, I could. Gladly, I guess? It's just one of those where it's like... It is the first playthrough I ever did on this channel. And it seems a little wasteful to put all the time in to replay something I had already replayed. Even if it looks better. Like, I love remakes for that reason, but at the same time, I want it to be a substantive one. Uh, the ones that I can point to most specifically most recently would be like, oh, well, there was just a bunch of corn right there. I could have just grabbed. Uh, let's see, they're remaking that game. Amler? Yup. Let's see. I think it's just one of those where THQ Nordic is trying to, like, capitalize on everything they they have. Uh, soil Centrifuge. Right. That's fine. We got what we need. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to need one large platform for this first. Maybe I should have considered all the other ones. Okay. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Right. THQ Nordic is... is. I think they just try and remaster a lot of the games that they have in their library because it's quick, easy money comparatively. And, like, I have seen more people excited about Kingdoms of Amalur uh, now that they're remaking it than I ever saw about the original game. And so... I don't know. It seems to be working. Uh, same effects were had with uh, with Darksiders and a bunch of other things too. So, yeah. good for them. And yeah, I'll give it a I'll give it a go. But when I'm when I play remakes, remasters, and whatnot, I want it to be Link's Awakening. I want it to be Final Fantasy VII. I want it to be so substantive that like I can't not play it because it's almost a unique and new game. The only similarity is the plot and characters. Okay, so we need soil centrifuge. No, we need the smelting furnace. That's what we need. And once we get both of these down, we'll be good to go. Uh, let's see. Is there a way to suggest board games for the occasional wholesome and first uh, game night things? That's an interesting question. Um... I will admit, I'm not the one to ask that question yet, sort of. Uh, Discord is a way to kind of bring things up, but I I don't handle any of the organizations, uh, like any of the organizing for Wholesome Verse. That is purely Rhapsody and Retromation. If they want me to be more involved with the planning, I'd be down, but it's one of those that with the Catterday crew, I was the sole organizer and I hated it so much 
that is really nice to not actually have to handle any of the organization yet. And honestly, if I were to do anything, it'd probably be uh, kind of a separate show that I run uh, in parallel, just like on, a, on another day occasionally. Uh, like a very, very occasional board game night or uh, tabletop game, but I have to actually talk to people about that. And I'm super bad about organizing because, yeah, I'm s just super busy. So when you play this game, do you feel it's still in early access or is it not yet finished? I think it's done. It's just one of those that, like, there's so much more that they could do if they wanted to. So it's a centrifuge. There we go. Sideshow, like what Northern Line does when he brings on single people in his group? Uh, eh? What? I was talking to a vac about this, actually, before he even joined the Wholesome Verse. Uh, but... We were going to do a, a board game day, night, on, um, specifically on like Sundays or something, a day that I know no wholesome verse activities happen, and just see if we could find anyone to join us. Not, not necessarily just wholesome verse people, uh, but my life is so busy as it currently is, it's kind of hard for me to want to organize that sort of thing. Uh, at least currently. And I will get to get to the point where I'm like super willing to put a lot more time and energy into putting stuff together and like finding the people and making sure everybody's on time and games and so on and so forth. <sighs> but like I'm just swamped doing what I'm currently doing. Not to mention, I'm trying to do a lot more, like, interesting shows uh, that aren't just uh, my standard Let's Play fair. Uh, so very specifically, I've been doing... Um, I guess if you if you check the YouTube channel today, uh, part of the reason why I was so, like, uh about Hard Space Shipbreaker is I literally just put out a video maybe... I guess four hours ago about my my final thoughts about the early access version of Art Space Shipbreaker, and it's just like <laughs> uh, timing, days, reasons. I don't know. Okay, so if I want to make a big platform, that requires iron and ceramic. Which we have the iron, we don't have the ceramic, and that seems like a bit of a waste. See, Rhapsody has a request channel. If he does organizing, that's probably a good place to start. Yeah, that probably would be. Yeah, the reason why I'm usually so anti-request is just because there's no feasible way for me to, uh... There's no feasible way for me to actually take requests into in stride. Not to mention a lot of requests are very much like, play Persona 4, and it's like, uh... Or play Hard Space Shipbreaker, which is... I mean, I get it. Not everybody can check, but it is... <laughs> I, I've opened myself fully up to requests, and half the time it's just so inane that it's not worth my... my time. Because, yeah, think of the average person. Now imagine there's... 50% of the population that's dumber than that, and unfortunately... Uh, I'm not... I try and be very patient with a lot of things, but I, I, I am very susceptible to getting frustrated. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys had teachers back in school that would do the whole, like, there is no such thing as stupid questions. It's like, you have literally never been on the internet before. I, w I always hated any anybody that would bring that up as like some kind of uh, enlightened teaching something or other, because they were always, it was always false. And I think they even knew it. I had a, I had a teacher that would do the whole no stupid, uh, no stupid questions thing, and they get really mad at you if you actually ask stupid questions. 
it's just like, I bet. What are, we, what are we supposed to do? All right. Is that everything? I swear I had another storage platform. But well, I guess it, I guess it don't. All right. Grab the other one. Now we don't have to go out of our way to get spare corn, because I've got it. Uh, let's see. Let's just do resin. Hey, and thank you, King Blue Anime, for the 100 bits. Okay, so we need to get large printer, which is just three compound. Oh, that's so easy. Give me that sweet corn bits. Next one. Oh! Aha! I do have a medium storage. It's just invisible in my backpack. I was super confused about that, and it's like, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I have something. And I, in fact, did. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna unplug these and move this whole thing over. Or do I? I don't like the organization on this base right now. It's pretty bad. I wonder if we can actually throw this thing into the scrapper. Because at this point, I think we don't need it anymore. I'm sure there's I'm sure there are considerably better base organization systems than this. I wonder what the the like most ideal base in Astroneer would look like. Wish you could scrap a rocket. Oh, so you can't? That's a shame. Okay, so let's go get some compounds, get that large printer, get me the big dig beast, and maybe stop there. I could I could do more more setup than this, but I got other games that I want to play today. And I can do a lot of that setup while my brother runs around grabbing science. Oh, you can sh throw the medium shuttle into the max level shredder. Really? All right. Let's see, is there enough interaction with the base for an ideal form? Uh, I was just thinking of the soil centrifuge near the hole so you can empty it out faster. But yeah, you're right. That's kind of overkill when it doesn't need to be. One way or another, we do not have the max level shredder, so we can't do it anyway. Okay, let's pull these out a little bit. Is that some titanium? Which is good, but this planet actually has this stuff. Okay, uh, how are we doing on power? It looks like we're doing okay on power. At some point, I'll have to reorganize a lot of this and make it work. While we're here, let's get some clay. that there. Okay. This should be better. So we want to we want to quick grab my aluminum alloys. There we go. Large rover. There we go. And using the small seat we could we can still potentially drive around with this thing. 
Providing power for it is going to be the one immediate issue. I kind of wish we had gotten some more lithium. I guess what I could always do is actually uh, get whatever I need to get to the core of that other planet. Well, I guess we already have the diamond, so all I'd have to do is get to the core of this planet. Ooh. Alternatively, I bet I could solo... Like, I could go down solo. Because portable oxygenator requires nanocarbon alloy. Oh, wait. That might actually be outside of our immediate ability to make. Start making some tall platforms. Let's see. Looks like we've got a fair bit of clay just sitting around. That's always good. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to do the portable oxygenator. I was kind of hoping we would be able to, but then again, we know how to get back. Admittedly, kind of awkwardly, but we know how to get back. Okay. I want to kind of extend these out as far as I can get them. Because uh, I... I don't... Mm, I don't know how much this thing blocks wind. But if all of my wind power is just, like, way over here, hopefully it won't get blocked as much. Okay. I wish that sound effect, the, uh, the blowing wind, would not actually play unless... Uh, there actually was blowing wind. A bunch of oxygen tanks. That'd be a hell of a risk. I think what I'm gonna do is actually just take the large rover with the with the paver and the drill. And uh And just go on an adventure with it. It's such a hilariously small seat, but I you don't need more than that, which actually would give me uh, space for not another big storage thing, but it would definitely give me space for some more stuff. Oh, is this good enough to make another? Yeah. Okay, let's keep chewing into this mountain. Because I'm just going to keep extending the base further out a little. Uh, oh, crap. Both of my so soil containers are over here. Which, speaking of... We should have a giant filled storage container. medium storage. Nope, it emptied out. Dang. I was really ho hoping it wouldn't. Well, get over here. Believe you need to destroy the other mountain. We'll get to it. My whole base will be perfectly flat. It'll just take time. I, lo I love the wind sound effects. It's very, uh... Lone Dark. E. Not big on Lone Dark, but I remember being stuck in a house with, like, 
a storm going on outside, nothing to do, and just being kind of depressed, because that's what the game's supposed to make you feel. Uh, but also, like, very claustrophobic and very much like, can this storm be over yet? It sucks that I'm freezing and starving and other things. Which I thought was an absolute success in the game's design. I just couldn't find myself really enjoying it past, you know, that immediate appreciation. There we go. At some point I'll move all of these over. Oh man, we could get giant silos covered in wind turbines. That would be silly. I don't think we need that. Uh, let's see. Well, this would be the place to start messing with it, but that would be later.